Hi guys, Morocco. Um, first we went to Marrakesh for a few days and then uh, over to Agadir. So we started off in Marrakesh. Uh, beautiful history in this place. Um, they do take you for a little stop for some food and stuff. Uh, if you've been to Marrakesh, you've probably been here. Nice little setting, peaceful. Kids playing about, food's lovely there. Cheap as chips. You can go for a little dip in the water as well. It's fairly clean, not too dirty. And Morocco, known for its tagines. We had many of them while we were in Morocco. Been to Morocco a few times now. Uh, I do like the culture there. Uh, the food's nice as well. And it's just a great atmosphere there. Marrakesh, lots to do as well. Um, you've got the square where everyone goes, lots going on there. Um, I didn't really get many videos and pictures there. Like I said in previous videos, I didn't know I was going to be uploading to YouTube. So quality and some of the pictures won't be up to scratch. But going on forward, I will make some new ones and uh, hopefully I will go to Marrakesh and make some proper ones of the square. Uh, lots of entertainment going on on the square, so make sure you go check it out. Um, make sure you don't get robbed though, there's a lot of hustlers about, so you got to have your wits about you. And haggling, make sure lots of haggling, don't just give them what price they ask for. Lots going on at night time as well, loads of shows, dinner with shows and stuff. Um, loads of people have probably been to this next one where we went to. It was a nighttime show, dinner included with the price. Uh, they had loads of dancers from different tribes. Uh, you had horse shows, um, you had belly dancers, uh, all in a good night's entertainment package. So great fun for the family, you know, it's a good family day. I've been here a few times because I've been in Morocco a few times, been with different people and everyone always wants to go check this show out. Um, it is entertaining, it is great fun, uh, they get you involved, uh, they had us all up dancing at some point apart from my wife, um, there's me having a good old boogie again. Food was uh, average, unlimited drinks, that was a good thing, uh, but yeah food was just standard for me, it wasn't nothing too special. But the show, show was great, amazing, enjoy it every time. Uh, they even let you get on the horses if you really want to. So we blagged them, put the kids on the horses for a bit, took them for a little ride. Overall, great night, definitely recommend it. Um, not too expensive either, so definitely give it a go. Uh, there are a few shows like this going on, but I thought this was the best one. So Marrakesh, uh, loads to do, great fun. But if you're looking for the beach and stuff, it's Agadir you want to be. So that's why we only stayed a few days in Marrakesh. Um, and then over to Agadir we went. Um, but Marrakesh, like I said, great place. I'd say it's more for couples. Agadir is more for families. Um, Marrakesh, you want to get out there and explore the place. Uh, loads of uh, history behind it. Loads of stuff. Great mosques. Loads of stuff there to do. There's the belly dancers, uh, they love the belly dancers there, I've seen a few of them while I've been to Turkey and Morocco. She can't move her belly the way I can move my belly though. There's my daughter on the horse and after that, um, that was the square, late night, rammed. That was our last night in Marrakesh, um, like I said, great fun. Next morning, little tuk-tuk ride. You've got to experience that. Uh, lovely bit of fun that is. We all squashed into it and went for a little ride. Uh, explore the city a bit more. What I do like, one of the things about Morocco and some of these Arab countries, the malls are amazing, the shopping centers. They've got lots to do for kids. There's always like kids zones in there. Loads of rides, loads of games, entertainment for kids. Um, it's like being in a mini theme park. Uh, ice skating there, some interactive stuff for the kids to do. Um, so you're not just going shopping, you're taking the kids on a day out. You can spend a whole day in their shopping centres. Uh, this one was in Marrakesh. Um, we also got invited uh, to a wedding in Agadir. That was one of the reasons we came here. Um, but Marrakesh was first. Uh, again, lovely food. Tagines. Kids loved it, didn't have no problem for food for kids. 
everywhere you go, all types of cuisines. Uh, welcome to Agadir. So breakfast in Agadir, lovely. Um, went to the Croc Park, amazing it was. Um, one of the main attractions there, Croc Park. Loads of crocodiles, never seen so many crocodiles in one place before. Uh, not just crocodiles there, loads to do, loads of climbing frames, uh, other little bits of animals. Uh, you've got parks there, uh, face painting, uh, loads to do, they've, you know, they've thought it out well. So that's another great day out at the croc park. Uh, I'd say you need about three, four hours minimum there. So if you are planning to go there, yeah, make sure you've got a good four or five hours there. Um, so like I said, the parks, parks were lovely as well. Agadir as well, city, loads to do, so, so much to do. I can't possibly fit it all in. Because um, I've been a few times to Morocco, I do a couple of things at a time. But the best bit, Agadir Beach. Everything going on there. You've got the beach, you've got loads of food, shops entertainers um, along the front everywhere uh, great fun you've got the vr headset people there everywhere and everything uh, fairly priced as you'd expect it's not cheap uh, but not extortionate either but loads to do for the kids you can spend a full day just on that front there you've got the characters out there um, you've got loads going on our accommodation we stayed at an uh, apartment on the marina first uh, lovely, beautiful apartment, beautiful view, um, loads going on. The marina side, you've got um, nice ice cream places and stuff like that. So we weren't short of food, desserts and snacks as soon as we came out of our apartment. Uh, we stayed out of the apartment for half of the time in Agadir and then we moved on to a hotel because my wife likes the service and luxury of hotels. Again, the front door, amazing. The food was delish. There's uh, like English restaurants, Asian restaurants, all sorts. And lovely, lovely service there as well. They go out of their way. Um, kids loved it. I loved it. Mrs. loved it. Uh, definitely be back again to Agadir and uh, Marrakesh. Both lovely places. Um, it's going off all night there. Um, there's the view off my balcony. Nice, peaceful marina there. And there's the view in the daytime. Uh, couldn't have asked for a better view. Absolutely stunning it was. Um, I loved it, but Mrs. likes the service of hotels. Uh, we went to a local souk. Great experience. That's where the bargains are. So if you want the bargains, you need to get to the local souk. And... Just haggle them, haggle them as much as you can. We had our friend Usman with us. He does excursions, tours, and also he'll just come along and help you out with all you can and haggle for you. Um, I've got his details further on in the video. This was the pool for us at the apartment, uh, right at the edge of uh, Agadir. Lovely it was, stunning. Um, one of the best views from a pool I've ever had. So all the guests from that hotel get to go there. Uh, camel ride, visiting the beach. Like I said, our friend Usman, he helped us a lot. I do recommend, there he is, the fella, Usman. Lovely guy. Um, help. If you do go there, give this guy a ring. Get him to come meet you, help you out. Get all your tours, excursions of him. He'll do your cheap prices. I've tested him. He is not there to rob you. He's there to help you. Cruising through the streets at night. Uh, this was the wedding. I've kept it a bit short. Um, but a uh, lovely wedding. Once in a lifetime experience. Started at 9pm. We left at 5.30am and it was still going off. Um, there's my mate having a little boogie. But yeah, lovely the way it was. Uh, went on a few camel rides. Uh, kids like them, but as soon as the camel gets up, it scares them. And there he is, crying his eyes out. It was soon all right, as soon as it started walking. Uh, but yeah, kids kids will love Morocco, especially Agadir. It was a brilliant, brilliant trip. Uh, the famous mountain where you can see Agadir written on it. You can actually go up there. 
that's the view from the top there beautiful stunning view um don't miss out like i said you're there why not you know do whatever you can some people like staying in the hotel i'm not like that i like to get out there explore as soon as the kids are bigger loads of activities and so many beautiful mosques you can just go as long as you're decently covered you go in have a look around even pray if you want to but so many mosques around there it was beautiful I'd say if you go there, seven days is not enough. Try to book at least ten days. So much to do, it's unbelievable. And all fairly affordable as well. You're not, uh, nothing too extreme. And if you've got someone like Usman there, he'll help you get the cheapest deals, cheapest bargains. Go shopping, you're paying like a tenth of the price you normally would, and I mean it. Um, here's us on a boat ride. There's the fisherman, uh, caught us some fish. Uh, me and my daughter went for a little dip in the sea. Um, I won't get in without my life jacket. Uh, but yeah, that was lovely. Had a little dip in the sea. And then back to the front again for some more entertainment. And it's not the same stuff every night like some places. Every night you've got different people, different things going off. And food, delicious once again. There's the tagine again. We love that tagines. I don't know whether I like the lamb one or the chicken one, but lovely lovely food um, there are a few decent moroccan places in england as well nowadays uh, there's us on some local village i forgot what it was called but uh, another little horse ride great scenery a bit quieter than agadir beach but lovely lovely views and here's us checking into the hotel now um sofitel uh, wife like i said she likes a bit of luxury and a bit of a uh, service so we stayed at the marina in an apartment and then moved over to here for the last few days uh, just relax a bit now kick back after a fun pack action packed holiday um so now it's time to relax just chill by the pool and stuff like that enjoy it let the kids enjoy the time the marina is on one side of uh, Agadir Beach and then when you go to the other side along the front you've got all the nice hotels and stuff like that um, so it depends what you prefer whether you want to be in a nice view nice apartment with all the shops all around you or whether you want a nice luxurious hotel a bit out of the way you're on the other end so much to say so much to do in Morocco feel like I've not shut up all the way through. I normally put a bit of a video in. Uh, you've got stuff like this. You're driving along and you'll see a little park. Loads of stuff going on. Kids went on these remote controlled uh, car things. Um, then you had me on my scooter. Uh, so the stuff for adults to do. There's me zipping past on a moped. Uh, so stuff to do for kids, stuff to do for adults. Have a little whiz round on a scooter. So great fun all around playground fairgrounds uh, they seem to be everywhere as you're driving about um, so like i said you won't get bored on this holiday uh, agadir marrakesh definitely recommended for families to go there enjoy yourself uh, just have a look around because sometimes the flights can be a bit expensive but if you're not in a rush and you pre-book the cheapest chips great fun just be a bit wary though, people there, they're trying to make a living, they're trying to do their hustle. So don't just give in and give the prices. Um, there's this man again, like I said, lovely fella. If you, if you do contact him, let him know that you know me or you've seen it through me and I've recommended him and he will look after you definitely. He'll save you a lot, a lot of money while you're there. And he'll show you all the good places. He'll give you loads of advice as well. Um, Eid Namaz there, we were lucky enough to be there for Eid, that was something else, great experience, I've got a little short video on that separately, um, but yeah, amazing it was, uh, Eid, breakfast, um, it was something else, once in a lifetime experience, um, loved it, uh, definitely recommend to go there for Eid, we have nothing like that where we're from in England. Only thing came close was uh, Eid Namaz at Ewood Park. I've got a shot on that. Um, there he is with a dead sheep head. His mum was mortified. She wouldn't even come nowhere upstairs to see any of this. Uh, but it was an experience, nice experience. 
it's just part of the religion what we do sacrifice the animal and stuff freshly prepared food and in morocco it goes off for a couple of days at night after on eid a uh, cultural thing they're just celebrating everyone's happy having a great time that was another experience to, that i would recommend to go check it out everyone just having a good time dancing singing uh, like i said once before that's not the religion that's cultural um so that's why you don't really see it going on everywhere on Eid. But you did used to see stuff like that going on Wimsler Road back in the days. It's quiet and down now, a bit more civilised, but still um, nice to see people out there having fun, you know. Um, civilised, nothing, nothing rowdy going on. It was just loads of people having fun. And that's uh, towards the end of our journey in Agadir. Um, like I said, been a few times before, I will be uploading a couple more videos on my previous trips to Agadir. Um, here's Usman's contact. If you do go there, contact him. He'll look after you. Definitely. There's his grandma, Usman lovely woman. From they took us to their village, Deraga. made us a meal there as well. All free, we didn't pay for it. Went to a local cafe with him, had a cup of tea with the locals. Uh, lovely experience, lovely little village he lives in. Uh, great guy, great family, definitely check him out. And that was it. Guys, please subscribe so I can put more videos up. Thank you. Visit Agadir. You won't regret it.